Hey, sixth grade. Um, I won't be here on Friday to check this, but you should make sure to do it anyway. Turn around, Louise. All right. So the first thing we're going to talk about today is um, the different types of seismic waves that exist. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and write that in there. Seismic. Seismic waves. Boy, this is going to be messy. I'll try to make it neat. Okay. Types of seismic waves. Well, there are actually three types of waves that we're going to learn about. And the three types of waves are... One of them is going to be P waves. P waves. Another one are S waves. And the final type of wave that we're going to learn about are going to be surface waves. Okay. Today in class, uh, you probably saw us play with the slinky a little bit to emphasize some of these. Um, P waves, P waves, think about it this way. The P in P waves, you can actually call them compression waves. Okay, um, It's not really what it stands for, but that will help. So P waves, just remember, they compress. So P waves, compression, which means squishing together like an accordion. Okay. like a accordion or in the case of class like a slinky okay <clears throat> then you have s waves which are more kind of like the wavy waves the ones that are more like a snake kind of crawling on the floor so we can call them snaky waves i don't know if that makes any sense but <clears throat> they move sort of like this okay and P waves always come before S waves. The last type of wave are surface waves. And these are when P and S waves come to the surface. Okay? And when we're talking about seismic waves, what do seismic waves usually make? If we feel them, well, that's right, they make earthquakes. Okay? And each earthquake is usually a different type of wave or full of multiple types of waves, okay? Seismic waves make earthquakes, okay? Great. Okay, one last one. Uh, we're going to go do a little bit more in the last two minutes here. Hope that works out there for you. Um, we're going to erase all this ink. And now we're going to, there are three machines we use to measure earthquakes. One is the Man, the Mercalli scale. Okay. Then the other one is the Richter scale. And the last type of machine we use to measure earthquakes is called the moment magnitude scale. Moment scale. Okay, I'm gonna change my pen color here. We won't have a ton of time to talk about each one of these, but we can talk a little bit. Oof. And then we'll write measuring how we measure earthquakes. Boy, I'm sorry, my writing's so bad, guys. I'm really tired right now. Okay. Um, so the Mercalli scale was developed to rate earthquakes about how intense they are, okay? Um, there are 12 steps on the scale. So he would rate them 1 to 12, basically, okay? And he uses Roman numerals to go ahead and do that. So let's see, so rates, earthquakes, hey man, with Roman numerals. Okay, uh, so right now, um, we're not going to finish the rest of these, but why don't you go on and read, this is all from page 184 and 185, more about the types of scales or ways that we use to measure earthquakes. All right, well, thanks for listening, guys, and I'll see you guys in class on Tuesday. Well, you might have ITBS, maybe Wednesday.